Welcome to a new week and to another episode of Palmetto Life. I'm your host, Emily Zuhowski. If you haven't made lunch plans yet today, let us help you out. Experience the flavors of Spain from downtown Charleston. Malagon is a market and taperia offering Spanish inspired cuisine and beverages. The market highlights wine, beer and grocery items and so much more with their taperia showcasing seafood, meat and vegetables, small plates along with delectable desserts. If you are looking for some Spanish cuisine, some wines and provisions imported from Spain, we have the place for you. Hello, my name is Juan Castellet. I am the chef and co-owner of Malagon Restaurant here in downtown Charleston. Uh, welcome. We're so glad to be here today, and it's such a beautiful day outside. The sun is hitting us perfectly, and we're about to get into some fun stuff today. So let's a little talk about your place and how you got started. Talk to me from the very beginning. So we uh, opened up this restaurant uh, five years ago um, in March, and uh, we started with Chez Nu was our first restaurant, which is uh, down the street. And um, my wife, as well as my business partners, opened up Chez Nu, and then five years later, we decided to open up Malagon. So. So for those who have never been here, talk to us a little bit about the concept of this place. Sure. The name Malagón comes from my grandfather. Um, so he was born in Almagro, Spain. Basically, we wanted to do a more traditional Spanish uh, food because there's not a ton of that in Charleston, there's not a ton of that in the southeast. So we really wanted to kind of like showcase like the amazing food that comes from Spain as well as the you know wine list, the culture, everything about it is like really what we're trying to showcase here. Mm, and it's wine galore in here. There's so much wine. You just had someone ordering more just a second ago. It's crazy. Um, so talk to me about all the different kinds of wines that y'all have. We have wines from the Canary Islands all the way up to uh, Galicia or Catalonia. So it's just, it kind of allows you to experience all of the wines from, uh, from Spain. So we definitely have an extensive menu which allows uh, the guests the opportunity to kind of choose which way they want to go. If you want to go very seafood heavy menu, which we are very lucky here in Charleston to have a lot of seafood, so mm -hmm. you can definitely go that way or you can go kind of more of like the, the traditional way of like a lot of tapas, a lot of things that you can, you know, things that are very shareable. That's the thing about the way that we, we want people to like to enjoy eating here. You can have a meal just to yourself and just have like what you want or you can have it more like classic Spanish where you're going to have Everybody kind of enjoys everything. Everything's kind of shared, so yeah. it's it's a lot of fun. I love that because I definitely love to eat a lot of good Spanish food. <laughs> okay, another cool thing that you all have here. Right when you walk in to the right, you have a cool little market area where people can come and purchase, um, you know, different things as you have. So we are very lucky that we have the Mercado part of the restaurant. So what that does is you can buy bottle of wine that if you enjoyed a dinner you can also have all the little things that we try to incorporate into the menu so let's say you're gonna have the gilda which is uh, uh, anchovy um, the guandilla peppers as well as the manzanilla we can you can have all that here so all you have to do is basically go to the store and pick up a, a toothpick so it's it's really you know we try to make it so you can if you enjoy something you can also take it home and make it yourself yeah what's your favorite item that you got over there uh, well um, honestly I really love all the canned seafood that we have okay. so we have um, mussels we have like tuna uh, uh, cod, so it's just kind of different things you, you enjoy. Yeah, definitely a variety over there people can choose from. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so what does it mean to you to be able to have this concept here in Charleston? Um, well, you know, it just it allows us to have, um, you know, a little different feel to other restaurants that are in Charleston. Um, you know, a lot of people have just your, your typical kind of, you know, sit down type of restaurants. So this kind of gives us a different flair, a different kind of, uh, you know, identity in the city that, you know, it's there's so much competition here. So it makes us kind of have our own little little niche in there. I love it. And we're not done yet. We're about to go to the kitchen. Yeah. You're about to show us some fun little items that you have here. Absolutely. Um, and make that. So you want to go back there? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Well, now we're in the kitchen. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some uh, roasted carrots. Uh, these are some local carrots coming from the Guatemala area, um, from uh, Ambrose Farms. We're gonna do that with a sauce that has some of these Nora peppers. Uh, Nora peppers are peppers coming from Spain. For the service, what we'll do is we'll actually just marinate them on that sauce, and then we will grill those. 
Yeah, the, the carrots themselves are so sweet. Like, honestly, you just can't believe that you're eating carrots like this. So I think that's part of why I enjoy this dish so much. It's just the carrots are just the star, and we just kind of help them along the way. All right, so once the carrots are nice and warm, I've taken some of the sauce, some of the marinade here, and then we'll just put the carrots back into the marinade, and I toss all that together so that way all that nice kind of carrot goodness sauce gets tossed in there. So here we have the carrots, tossed in the sauce here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of these chives and some toasted pine nuts and a little of that local dill. I was telling you about just for a little extra smell. And I love the flavor of dill, most things. And that is it. Yeah, I mean, when you come in, just kind of have a an open mind as far as what it is that, you know, let the, let the server kind of give you kind of the, the, the guide to go through it. Um, but really just like realize that there's so many similarities really uh, between, especially in Charleston, uh, the amount of seafood that we have and just all the different parts of Spain. So come on out and try their delicious dishes, one of them being the ones we just made, the roasted carrots with Nora pepper sauce. Cheers.